Okay. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this class on media and technology in ministry. Thank you for connecting to the class. Let's take a moment to pray and we'll spend some time together. Um, Dave, could you just pray with us, please, if possible? Sure, Pastor. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for you are such a wonderful God. You are God who is full of grace. Your God who is full of love for you. you are. Thank you, God, once again for this class as we gather together, Lord Jesus. We learn how to serve in the church, Lord Jesus, and each one of us to understand that God. And help us, help um, each one of us to, to organize and to be, um, to learn as much as we can to, to be a service to you, Lord Jesus, and to uh, bring forth your kingdom and bring it to the fullness, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for us to have each one of us to understand. In the name of the Lord, amen. Amen. Okay, thank you. Welcome, everyone, once again. So last week, we didn't have any classes. Um, the week before, we um, went through uh, live streaming just to give you an overview uh, of uh, the configuration, how a live streaming happens. And um, uh, we had a request to you know, just put a list of things together. I have the list. I just have to uh, put it in a document and make it available to you as a PDF, which I will do. And um, the last thing I wanted to talk about in this section on uh, on uh, equipment and so on is about stage decor. Um, so I'm gonna we're gonna do that today. Just talk a little bit about stage decor. I just want to give you ideas. Uh, you may or you may or may not be you know use this immediately in your churches or your ministries, uh, but I just want you to have uh, this idea uh, that these things sort can be done. Uh, and uh, whenever you have the time, the opportunity, then you could uh, revisit these things and uh, make use of these ideas. So what we've done in this in this particular chapter on uh, digital equipment is we talked about the software that is needed, that is typically used in a church setting, uh, in church office. And then we talked about the various pieces of hardware and equipment. So we talked about the sound system. Um, we talked about... Um, the lighting, uh, sorry, we talked about the cameras, we talked about the lighting, uh, then we talked about the uh, the PA system, we talked about you know how you manage the sound inside a auditorium or a uh, gathering place. Then we talked about um, uh, video recording, and then we talked about live streaming. Uh, so just kind of touched on a little bit on all the equipment that's typically used. So. You know, we have an idea, and of course, we will have uh, we will have um, uh, experts or people who know this. You know, working or volunteering or helping us out. Uh, but we do need to be able to understand what they're doing, and we need to be able to tell them uh, what we want to see happen uh, in the service or in the meeting. And we need to understand what they are telling us uh, from a uh, equipment point of view, etc., so that we can, you know, work together and, and the end result uh, should be good, uh, whether it's uh, the audio or the, the video or the live streaming, all of that, the end result should be good. So we've covered up to live streaming, which is pretty much most of what we wanted to do. And one last part, which I wanted to do was to talk a little bit about the stage itself. So in our, you know, typically in our Sunday services, and as well as in other events, maybe a conference or a seminar, uh, you know, if, if, you know, typically you're in an auditorium and you have a stage. Uh, if you can, it's good to do up the stage in a nice way, so that everything that is released from the stage for the benefit, for the benefit of the people 
uh, is something that is well received, that people enjoy the whole experience. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, we, we should make that the whole focus of our effort. No, uh, I'm just saying that if we can do a nice stage, uh, the decor on the stage and how things are presented on the stage, if we can do it nicely, uh, we should try so that it can be impactful. The whole message can be brought to the people in a very nice way. Uh, and these days, uh, we have lots of ideas and lots of uh, equipment that can be used to create uh, a nice uh, uh, stage, stage decor. It's, it can be done nicely. Uh, some of the things that are uh, very commonly used these days and are easily available for us these days are you know, LED panels and lighting. So we don't have to go and buy, you know, lots of props and, you know, lots of things to make the stage. What we can do is just, if you just use the LED panels, lighting, uh, lights very carefully, very creatively, uh, because the LED panel, you can put any kind of graphic on it. I mean, any kind of background, you can just change backgrounds. You have the panels and you just have to change the graphics, which is displayed on the panels. And it immediately, you know, gives you a lot of flexibility and it creates um, any kind of environment that, or any kind of mood and any kind of uh, scene in the background that you want just by changing the graphics. So it makes the stage decor very easy. Uh, and then you can play with the lighting. And these are things you don't need to buy. Uh, you can just rent them for the service, which is what we are doing as well. Right. So uh, we don't have to go and, you know, uh, buy the decor for the stage. We just get the LED panels and then just think of the graphics that you want that can help enhance what is being uh, brought to the audience, right? So I just want to share along those lines uh, some things uh, and then we will close. And then once we finish this, uh, the next chapter is we want to talk about software systems. Uh, we did touch a little bit about that in our second year class, but I will get a little little more deeper into it. And that will be the last section uh, for this course. We talk about software systems that, that we can use, the technology part. So let's, um, let's now just um, look at stage design, stage decor. And for this, I'm going to just share with you uh, some websites. I'll put it in a document put the links in the document. Um, I didn't want to, you know, copy all the graphics as there's a lot of graphics. I thought we'd just look at it online and look at it from the website directly. And of course you can go, go and visit those websites. So uh, these are uh, websites that show us a lot of examples on uh, stage, church stage design, how it is done. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's so good that people are sharing what they are doing so we can learn from it and uh, we can try to use uh, whatever is possible. I'm not saying we should copy everything, uh, but uh, whatever you have access to and whatever you can, uh, you can use. And of course you can, you know, you can uh, refine the idea or use whatever uh, is relevant uh, to your, your, uh, your place, whatever you have available. But I just wanna share uh, some of these ideas, some of these things that people are doing these days uh, because it's very interesting and uh, it really gives a nice experience. Okay. So uh, I'm just sharing this with you directly from the website rather than just copying and putting it into uh, into a um, uh, document. I will give you the website. So the website is churchstagedesignideas.com. Okay. Pretty straightforward, churchstagedesignideas.com. And you see, uh, you know, um, what they're doing is they're just using uh, simple ideas with lights, um, with, uh, you know, both light streaming in and LED panels um, uh, to create a design that uh, many times uh, it's communicating something. So here in this particular stage design, 
uh, uh, you know, they, 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 they wanted something that is very geometric. So you have all of these triangles and rectangles coming through just using these lights. Here is another stage design. They have these big LED panels for display. And then they're having using ropes, see? They're just using uh, ropes, just hanging ropes. You know, so it's something very simple, but it's creating a certain effect uh, that they that they wanted uh, for their stage. Here is a very simple living room kind of setting. Again, uh, uh, it's they've converted that living room into uh, uh, almost like a, 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 a small chapel type setting. So you've got an LED panel here, a black curtain, uh, a table with words, and the lighting, you know, uh, that, that that makes it look, gives it a thing. But just a living room setting that they have done up, right? Very simple. Here's another stage design using choroplast. Choroplast is basically uh, uh, a form of plastic that is corrugated and you can cut it up the way you want it. Um, so they're using plastic and lights uh, to create a, a design that uh, kind of enhances the stage. So basically it's plastic with lights, lighting, right? Uh, it's reflecting. Um, let me see, I think over here, yeah, uh, I, I should go to page two. All right. Um, here is another design uh, with lights, dots, and um, uh, they are, yeah. So basically it's a lights and dots and now they're creating the effect of the cross uh, with these uh, bulbs, with all these bulbs and lights, you know, creating the effect. So it's almost like, you know, you have all these bulbs here, turn the bulbs off, you're having the effect of the cross and the lights coming in, uh, creating that effect on the stage, right? Um, here's one up and down uh, uh, design here. Uh, this beautiful, looks very nice um, with the arrows. And you can see, you can read into how they've done it actually. Uh, it's another nice design here using um, lights. And so these are round lights, bulbs, LED panels, uh, creating an effect. Right. So this is interesting because the theme of this is a rise up. So you've got arrows pointing up, you've got the word rise um, set up there on top, and then a lot of the lights coming in. Now, I, I'm not saying, you know, oh, we always have to make it so grand and big and grand, but uh, I'm just giving, seeing that, you know, here are ideas. It's all just lights, uh, using lights, LED bulbs, uh, and they, they create this effect. Here, they've got a graphic that's displayed on the LED. Uh, and this uh, topographic lines, they've put a graphic on the LED panel. And then you have lights coming off the stage and onto the stage. Um, so using lights in an LED panel and the graphic, they're creating this effect. And you know, these, these graphics can, you can use any graphic to be shown on this LED panel. They've uh, I use this kind of a graphic that that shows this mountainous layers uh, to kind of back up what's being, I guess, to go with the sermon and so on. Right. Um, so uh, there are numerous ideas. Um, here they're using LED rectangles. Um, here's. Um, using what we would call as tube lights, you know, uh, these lights just set up this way on, uh, the, the wall is just like a brick wall with color lights, 
So you're giving your blue and brick color uh, going on the wall. And then you've got light bars or what we would call as tube lights, you know, just, just arranged like this, giving it some sort of a, uh, a look that they wish to achieve. Right? It's very simple. You know, it's actually a brick wall with color lights and tube lights, uh, giving it a certain effect. Uh, here, these lights are coming off of the stage, going, uh, uh, filling up the auditorium. And then there is a pyramid-like structure that's been put together uh, just uh, for the boxes. Uh, more choroplast, plastic screen, plastic being used, and uh, lights. Okay. Yeah, I think I will, I will, I will um, just pause with this. So you see again, of course, you have the LED panels where the uh, sermon is projected, the person preaching is on the screen, people can see. And then there's lighting and these effects causing, just to make it look nice. Okay, so what I want to say is typically what we need uh, uh, is an LED panel. I mean, you, what we are doing uh, at APC nowadays is on the stage, we just have an LED panel uh, that surrounds uh, uh, the whole stage. And then what we do is we change the color and the graphics, and then we have lights coming on the stage. And then we can change the color, the light colors, and we can change the graphics on the LED panel. Very simple. So. Um, uh, you can create, you know, you can put graphics that are related to the sermon. Now, uh, during worship time, you can create, you can put graphics that are related to that particular song. Uh, you can also change the light colors, lighting that comes on the stage, uh, bright light, red light, and different colors, just, you know, creating an effect uh, just to make it uh, a nice experience for the people as they are worshiping. Right. So I'm not saying that this should become the focus of all our effort. Uh, no, this is purely secondary. Uh, the, the main focus, of course, is the preaching and the teaching of the Word of God. But when you have the opportunity, if you can, then uh, there are lots of ideas that you could look into uh, in working on the stage and uh, you know how you can set the stage. Uh, just so many different things. And people these days are doing uh, really nice things uh, you know, uh, with the stage, making it look very appealing uh, for people, creating themes that back up the sermon, uh, so that it has, so that it makes everything very impactful. So you see how, on the LED panels, a lot of things are being done, and these are all just graphics. You're not creating something physical; it's just graphics that are displayed on the LED panel, which which just gives it effect. There's another um, website called churchrelevance.com. Uh, so these are two websites we can go for, for ideas, uh, um, churchrelevance.com. And here again, they show you uh, uh, different ways uh, in which people are using light and LED uh, to you know, create various designs. Of course, this one is wood, so they have a, wood panel set up and the lights coming on the panel that gives it a certain effect. This one is yarn or cloth uh, that is done up like this and lights being, uh, uh, you know, lights focused on these cloth panels, giving it a certain effect. These are all strings, uh, you know, of course done in a very creative manner, lights being flashed on them giving them a certain effect and a look. Uh, all, all of these things are very simple, but very nice um, being done here. And uh, again, these are all white panels, but then you have different colored lights uh, that uh, that give it a certain effect, right? So these are just white uh, panels with colored lights coming on it. And then the lights combine to give it a certain effect. Um, or you can use drapes, 
which are all the cloths just coming in and colored lights being flashed on it, uh, giving it a different effect. But this is just simple cloth coming down with colored lights. This, of course, is the LED uh, panel and uh, giving, creating a certain effect here. LED, uh, this is a wooden slab, wooden frame, like what we saw earlier, just wood all around, giving it certain effect. These are lights. Oh, lights set up on wooden slabs. Yeah. Okay, so they've even used balloons here to, to up this one, uh, this particular stage. This is plain cardboard, just cardboard cut out with the light focused on it. Very simple, but you know, it could, it, you could use this idea to just back up a particular sermon theme or a topic, just how the cardboard is put and the light focused uh, on it gives it a, a nice effect. All right. Again, so there are lots of ideas, um, and I'll just point you to both these websites, uh, as and when you, you know, you you uh, have the opportunity, you could consider uh, doing up the stage, and um, like what I was saying, uh, these days, uh, all we are using is uh, lights, LED panels. Uh, and some other basic materials, like whether you cloth or rope or wood or just cardboard cutouts and the way you put the lights in. And, and you can easily, very simply create, you don't have to go and buy heavy things. Uh, just use these simple LED panels and lights and you create a nice stage, right? And why do we want to do that? It's so that we want to make the whole presentation meaningful. Right? So think about meaning being communicated through all of this. That means uh, there's a message being preached, but if the stage set setting backs up that message, uh, reinforces that message, creates a, a, a certain uh, emotion or stirs up a certain emotion, thought, understanding, it just enhances what is being spoken, right? From that perspective, we are not doing it to compete with other people or, you know, waste money, but very simple, but yet very meaningful uh, is, uh, these are things that can be done, okay? Uh, so think about it, uh, keep these ideas in mind. I will share these links in the, in the, in the, in the document that I will share with you. And you can go and visit these things to get some ideas and use them whenever you can uh, in stage decor um, so that people find the whole experience when they come to worship or attend a conference or a meeting, uh, they find it uh, very, very meaningful, right? But uh, remember, we don't want to be distracting. Uh, we don't want to do things that are disturbing people, but we want to enhance their experience as they come and uh, worship God, All right? So we'll stop with that. I, I understand this was this is a very short class, but I just wanted to kind of finish up this whole section, uh, talking about stage decor and how you can how we can do these things very well. So what actually happens is you've got the LED panel, and you've got you can control the graphic that comes on the LED panel from your computer. Right, so you have a computer that has a software that controls the LED panel, right? So on your laptop, or yeah, usually we use a laptop, uh, we can change the graphics. We can also change the colors. Uh, we can play with the intensity of the colors of all the panels, you know, so you've got big control of this whole LED, LED panel of what you want to do with it. And, and it's all just on your computer. Yeah, you're controlling it from your computer. So uh, you can be very, very flexible. You can, even during the service, you can keep changing the graphics and the colors and the intensities from various panels and so on. So uh, it makes it very, very easy 
I mean, ESIM in the sense, it's just software that's driving what is displayed on the LED panel. Uh, so it makes it very easy to change what you're doing. Uh, you know, not you're not physically going and putting up props and things like that. Just from your laptop, you're controlling the whole mood and the effect uh, of what's happening on the stage. So that's why I feel, uh, you know, uh, it's it's a very um, nice way, you know, of creating uh, the stage decor and controlling stage decor. And you can change it, you know, week after week. Just change the graphics, the colors, the lighting, what you're showing. Uh, it, you know, it's all it's the LED panel, and you're creating a completely different scene, a com completely different uh, effect, just by changing graphics and colors and lighting and intensity. Uh, it gives a good effect. Okay. Uh, any questions? Any thoughts before we dismiss? Any questions? All right, so uh, with this, we close off this particular section on um, digital equipment and those the various parts that we looked at. Uh, from tomorrow, we will start talking about uh, IT systems, the software, the technology uh, that we will use in uh, ministry work. So it's a slight shift from what we have been talking till now. We'll get into that and that will be the last section that I wanted to cover in this course, right? So I hope you find finding everything useful and you can use it in your ministries. Okay, let's just uh, um, just pray together and we will dismiss. Um, maybe Kanan, why don't you pray with us and dismiss us today? If your mic is okay. Or maybe Siddharth, if you can pray and dismiss us. Thank you. I'm not sure your mic, mics. All right. Okay, Karen, go ahead. Yeah. God, we come before your throne once again. And we want to say thanking you, Father God, for everything, Father God. Thanking you. Help us to move forward, Father God, give uh, your wisdom and thanking you, Father God, for your wisdom and knowledge, Father God, that we are understanding your subject, Father God, and help us to apply your kingdom work mm. and to every side, Father God, give uh, your revelation and uh, your words, Father God, thanking you. Rest of the day, submitting to your hand, take care of every side, thanking you. Almighty Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, we'll meet again tomorrow. We've got three hours together and uh, look forward to that. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you soon. Bye now.